Hey guys, it's Nick, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping safe and keeping well. So today I'm in the John Deere 8270R doing a bit of mold blowing. Mole plowing every three meters. Um, I've got the GPS uh, going, the auto steer. Um, on a job, on a job like this, where it's really slow going, it's actually uh, quite nice having the tractor keep a nice straight line for me. I know a lot of you are probably thinking that's cheating. You need to be keeping a nice straight line, by eye. <laughs> but the thing is, I'm going at about three kilometers an hour, which is I mean, that's about well, it's less than two miles an hour. So it's, it's pretty slow going. But I'll tell you what, it's doing a really good job. It's going in full depth, you know, a good couple of foot. The John Deere, it, uh, it doesn't even know it's doing it, to be honest. It's, um, yeah, doing a really good job. So yeah, basically what I'm doing is I'm crossing the existing field drains in this field. They are old drains, um, pot drains, made of tile. Um, and they're set quite far apart. Normally field drainage is set about uh, about a chain apart, about 22 yards, uh, which is about 20 meters. Um, but these ones, which like I said, are, are pot drains, which puts them sort of late 50s, early 60s. They were set sort of, I don't know, twice, twice that, about 40 meters apart, um, with the idea, I think, that the field would get mold regularly. Um, and it hasn't been mold for a while. So what I'm sort of doing now is I'm crossing those drains with the mole plow.
today, um, I'm over at farm two today, and this field I'm in, um, well as you can see, this was left set aside over winter. Um, this field does sit very, very wet. This whole sort of top half of this farm does. Um, and in the next door field, um, about 10 or 15 acres at the top of the next door field, we had professionally drained last year. Um, but such as just going in with the mole on this side is going to be a big help. And because of the drainage work that was done um, here, everywhere's just really sort of unlevel. It's not really fit for direct drilling, which is what we're going to be doing um, at the home farm. So I think over here at farm two, I'm probably going to do a, a bit of cultivation soon, sort of find some soil, work it down, get it nice and level ready for the drill. And I'll probably be making a start on that this week. I've got, actually got a couple of weeks because everything's late. We haven't actually started combining yet. So um, all the wheat and barley isn't quite ready yet. The barley won't be long, but the wheat will be another couple of weeks, I think. So I want a bit of time to sort of have a bit of a tidy up over here. So everywhere's been sprayed off. All the land that was set aside is now sprayed off. So the weeds are dying off. I'm molding today. This is about a 33 acre field. So this is gonna be a good day and a half, two days molding in here. But by sort of towards the end of the week, I can be thinking about cultivating um, and spend, spend a week or so here getting, uh, getting the ground worked. Um, and because it sits wet over here, and it's such a bit of dodgy ground, I will be drilling uh, a bit earlier here. It's, it's wheat that's going to be going in here, but I'm probably going to be here mid-September, which I know to a lot of people might be like, well, that's, that's quite early. Um, <laughs> it's taken me a little while to get our agronomist on board with drilling that early, but over here, it, it does make sense to just try and sneak it in a little bit earlier than you normally would. So as soon as sort of combining is done, I'll be thinking about drilling wheat here at farm too. So if I can get all the ground groundwork done, before uh, harvest starts, then yeah, win-win. Uh, it just means I can I can crack on um, and be as productive as I can be, I suppose. But yeah, I'm really pleased with how the mole's going today. Seems to be doing a good job. It's just uh, it's very slow. So in last week's video, um, when me and dad were using the mole plow to put in some water pipe, somebody pointed out, and quite rightly so, we actually had the mole plow in transport mode. The drawbar normally sits up here for transport mode. This is the correct uh, place to have it for working mode. Me and dad both, <laughs> both forgot to, to uh, sort that out. We both forgot. Um, so yeah, good catch, whoever that was who pointed that out. Um, we were in fact working it in transport mode. This is the correct way to have the mole plow set up. But yeah, it seems to be doing a cracking job. It's uh, going in really, really well. As you can see down here, got a nice deep channel. Be a nice good mole um, underground now, every three meters as well. So that's gonna do this field no end of good. And like I said, the, the John Deere, she doesn't even know it's on the back. She's putting it through absolutely no problem. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Just a, just a quick video today. There's plenty more to come though as I get busy with um, you know, all the groundwork and harvest and uh, will soon be time for drilling again. So lots and lots more videos to come. Uh, before I do go, I do just want to do a quick shout out, a quick mention to a, uh, a new channel, a young lad called Will. His channel's called On The Farm With Will. Go and check him out. If you like your sheep, if you like your hay baling, all of that, go and check out his videos because they're very, very good. Um, so yeah, On The Farm With Will. Search for him, subscribe, and tell him Nick sent you. Cheers for watching, everybody. Stay safe, stay well. We'll see you next time. Cheers.